So, hello, uh, welcome to Floyd Center for the Arts. My name is Becky Laduga and I'm the Associate Director here at the Center. Uh, I'm excited to be here today to introduce Art Appalachia 2020, a regional juried exhibition in the Hayloft Gallery. Uh, I wish all of you could be here with us today um, as we open this exhibit. And since that's not possible due to the COVID pandemic, uh, I hope that you can at least enjoy this virtual opening. Uh, we do have a small audience of a few members um, who are fortunate to be here with us, and we hope to see all of you here soon. Um, so, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this exhibition, not a whole lot. I'm going to let Wendy do most of the talking, uh, and then I will turn things over to the juror, Wendy Earl, who's here with us from the Southeastern Center for Contemporary Art in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Uh, she's going to talk a little bit about her vision for the show and her process for choosing the work as well. Uh, I'm sure it was a fascinating but incredibly difficult process, so I don't really envy her that task. Um, although I bet it was a lot of fun. Uh, so, I guess to tell you just a little bit about the show itself, we put out a call to artists in the 13 states uh, that included counties considered to be part of the geographic and cultural region known as Appalachia, uh, as defined by the Appalachian Regional Commission. Uh, 88 artists from 11 of the 13 states that had eligible localities uh, submitted 245 pieces for consideration. So I mentioned it already, it was a monumental task that Wendy had, and yeah, that was a lot. Uh, she did manage to whittle it down to inviting, I think it was 39 artists and about 90 pieces. Not all of the artists were able to participate, but um, pretty close. I think we have nearly 80 pieces in the gallery and 36 artists from 9 or 10 different states. So, so Appalachia is certainly well represented in this room. Uh, and before I do turn things over to Wendy, uh, I do want to thank a few people. Uh, first, a very special thank you goes out to the Appalachian Center for Photography for their generous sponsorship of all of the awards being announced today, uh, including a special Outstanding Photograph Award, uh, the winner of which was selected by the Appalachian Center for Photography's founder and director, uh, Dr. Russell Young. Uh, when you will present that award along with the awards that she'll be announcing that she has selected. Uh, I'd also like to thank the following for their support of the center and this event specifically. Uh, River Farm Stringworks in Minor, Virginia. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Philomena Jewelry in Floyd, Virginia. And Anonymous Community Supporters of the Arts. Uh, their generous support is what allows us to bring exhibits of this quality here to Floyd, so we're incredibly grateful. Uh, the awards that Wendy will be presenting include a Best in Show, uh, which is a $500 cash award, a second place award of $300, a third place of $100, and then the Appalachian Center for Photography's Outstanding Photograph Award, uh, which is $100. Um, you know, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the juror, uh, and I haven't spent a lot of time with her, but the time I have spent has been really interesting and a whole lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to spending a little bit more time with her. Um, I don't want to try to tell you how and why she does what she does. She, she can stand here and do that herself. Uh, but one point of interest was when asking uh, about the work she does and if there's anything I should be aware of, we talked about the fact that um, she works with national and local and regional artists uh, and she really has, and I don't want to misquote, so I am going to do this paperwork. Um, but she has a real interest in self-taught Southern artists, craft, craft versus fine art, and the intersection of art, science, and technology. And I think when you look around this room, you'll, um, you'll get a sense of that. Um, so, without further ado, I'd actually like to go ahead and ask Wendy to come on up and tell you about the show, tell you about the process, and announce who her award winners are. So thank you, Becky. I was so thrilled to be invited to be involved with this show. Um, thank you to the Floyd Center for the Arts, especially to Becky Katuka and all the staff who did a fabulous job of coordinating the logistics of such a show. Organizing a show with this many artists and works of art is hard at any point, but especially this year with the pandemic and numerous shutdowns. The show looks amazing. 
uh, and it's really taken up every square foot of the gallery and its walls, which I was so happy to see when I walked in. Uh, judging and jurying is always a challenge because so much of what makes a work special is the artist's intentions and explanation behind it. We really want to hear what the artist has to say about it. Uh, in both the selecting the work for the exhibition and then selecting the award winners, I was completely blind. I did not have the artist names or artist statements, simply the titles and the media. Um, but it was so much fun exploring all these different works and going through the 200 plus submissions. And, um, and then getting to see everything in person, which you know is, is much better than, than looking at it from a computer screen. Uh, when I was doing my initial selection, I had a few criteria. But the primary goal was to stay true to the title of the show, which is Art Appalachia 2020. I didn't grow up here. I'm from Ohio originally. But I've lived in the South and in the foothills of Appalachia for the last three years. It's an incredible region, and it's so unique. The artists who make their home here uh, really are responding to the landscape, to the rich history and to the absolute fullness of living in a space like this. I moved here from West Texas, which is this completely barren desert where you can see 50 miles in all directions, and they say that if you step on a tuna can, then you can see 100 miles in all directions. <laughs> That's not the case here. You are just bombarded with stuff in all directions, and I love it. Um, I love that there's so much here, whether it's you know the natural environment or the built environment. There's just so much here. Um, so you know, in this show, rather than honing in on one specific theme, the theme of the show is the diversity of the region rather than any particular modes of representation. So visitors to the show will see a diversity of materials, methods, and subjects. The media includes fiber, ceramic, wood, stone, painting, sculpture, photography, and numerous mixed media installations. There's figural art, representational art, abstraction, and conceptual art. Uh, one of the ways that I enjoy curating is through an exploration of place, which I feel that this show is a great example of. No matter what kind of art you like, you'll see some places that you're familiar with, and you'll find something that you connect to in this space. The show is open until December 3rd, so if you are in the region, please stop by and spend some time with it. Uh, so now I'm going to uh, start announcing the, the winners, which was a very hard decision, but uh, again, when, when, you, when you move from the digital realm to seeing things in person, it was just this lovely invigoration of the work. Uh, so I'm going to go, uh, I think I should go probably from bottom to top, right? Yes. So first I'm going to announce the Appalachian Center for Photography Outstanding Photograph Award, uh, which is awarded to L.S. King. The title of the piece is Rock Castle Gorge Overlook Floyd, and the medium is a photopolymer grepper. Uh, in third place, we've got Gibby Waitskin, Man and His Earth, which is a mixed media piece in handmade paper and pigment print. Uh, I really love this work. It was this um, masterful blend of different materials and processes. This is a piece whose individual elements, I think, really are well executed and then comes together into a cohesive whole. Uh, in second place, we have Pippi Miller, Round and Round, which is an archival pigment print. Uh, I love the massive scale of this work uh, and how it could be at home in many different decades. Um, the artist has really created a window of the time with multiple exposures. Uh, and then for our best in show, we have Sarah Method. Her, her work is entitled Reclamation. It is made of assorted fibers, reclaimed window, glass, and poplar. This piece really drew me in, um, since I love the use of different materials and how it's actually escaping its containment, like so many things do in Appalachia. Um, it's simple, but really affecting. Um, I'm always drawn to work that I, as the viewer, can put my own meanings onto. It gives it a life far beyond the artist's studio and encourages its viewers to flex their own imagination muscles. Um, so I'm, I was really thrilled with all the work here. Uh, again, everyone here is a fantastic artist and there's a lot of different things to see. Um, so I really hope that the Floyd Art Center, the Floyd Center for the Arts, sorry, is, uh, is happy with the show, uh, as happy as I am. And I hope all the artists are able to come see it if they can and are happy with their uh, work as well. Uh, so again, thank you for having me and come see the show.